In Williamson County, a call for change tonight. People there are pushing for a new law, state law, after a school janitor is charged with secretly watching young girls in a bathroom. Victor Alvarado was arrested for that crime, but he's only facing a misdemeanor charge now. Fox 17's John Dunn joins us with more on why some say that punishment may not fit the crime. Officers say Alvarado was caught moving ceiling tiles to watch little girls use the bathroom. In Tennessee, the crime is called observation without consent, and it's a misdemeanor. Now, some say it should be a felony with serious consequences. It was a stunning allegation at Scales Elementary. 48-year-old Victor Alvarado, a school janitor, was charged with secretly watching girls in a bathroom. A second surprise followed. Alvarado's alleged crime is only a misdemeanor. We don't think that's fair or right, and we want to we want to make sure that uh, an appropriate punishment goes to people that do those kinds of things. Director of Schools Mike Looney says even if convicted, the most Alvarado could serve is 11 months and 29 days in jail, and he would not have to register as a sex offender. Looney says when children are involved, the crime should be a felony, and he's working to make a change. So we've all kind of come together with this common um, you know, vision of what should happen moving forward, and, and we're committed to seeing it through. No one is wasting any time on this. A new bill is now being filed here on Capitol Hill to change the law in Tennessee. We have a significant gap in our code, and it was brought to light after this terribly unfortunate event. Senator Jack Johnson says state law must protect children and calls the allegations against Alvarado deplorable. Raising it to the level of a felony and also requiring registry on the sexual offender list uh, would ensure that he is not able to go to another school, perhaps in another state, and commit this crime again. Supporters of the change say the punishment must fit the crime. Peeking in on, on children is a serious offense and should carry with it a, a, a serious penalty. Senator Johnson believes the General Assembly will fully support this change in the law, but even if it passes, Victor Alvarado will still be prosecuted with a misdemeanor since that was the law when the alleged crime occurred. John Dunn, Fox 17 News.